keep our feet hot. I want to know that when they get to that ball carrier, when they break on that route, when they break on that receiver or running back, that they're under control when they get there. So they're going to sprint as fast as they can, breaking on that throw. But when they get to the ball carrier, they're sitting down in a nice, good football position with their feet hot and their hands up, ready to make a tackle, okay, and under control. Locate and break two. Same setup as locate and break one. Linebacker is going to drop at a 45 degree angle here at the cone. Now, at the cone, we're going to have a, a, another guy uh, where he's going to be a wide receiver for this thing, and he's going to either break inside or outside. And when he does, the linebacker needs to stick his foot in the ground and change direction if he comes back inside. If the receiver were to go outside, well, then we need to try to undercut that route. So tell your, your receiver in this drill, your dummy man, to take off when the linebacker gets within two or three yards of the cone. And again, once they break, you can incorporate a ball and try to work that in there as well. So if he's breaking to the flats, we're undercutting the route. If he breaks back inside, we're sticking our foot in the ground, throwing our elbow around, and getting flat. We don't want to match his angle when we come back inside. We don't want to chase the receiver down. We want to undercut it as well. So the flatter we can open and come inside, the better. Window drill. Window drill is a zone drop drill where, the, again, the linebacker will drop at a 45-degree angle. Once he gets there, he'll, he'll get his feet going, eye down the quarterback, and read the shoulder of the quarterback. Okay? So the coach will wait till he gets to his landmark and then move to the left, move to the left, or move to the right, signaling which, who he's going to throw to. The hand comes off the ball. We're trying to undercut the receiver. Okay? Line your wide receivers up about six to seven yards apart. Um, the faster the guys you got, the further you want to separate those receivers to challenge your linebackers. But it's a good opportunity to get them dropping in space and reacting. This is a very game realistic drill. Competition drills. Now, what are competition drills? We try to do drills with our linebackers to get them competing in practice. And it might be something as simple as arm wrestling. We want to get their motors up, okay? But we found some drills that we think teach some fundamental skills that, that linebackers need to know, and they're also competitive. So we'll try to do these at the end or the beginning of our individual time, um, either to get their motors running if they're not jacked up about being out there in practice, or to get them going right before a, a good team period to ensure that we, because again, we got to be the ones with the high motor. We got to be ones with the energy and bring the positive attitude when we go to team, because people are going to follow our lead. Win the hands. This is a, a great competition drill right here. You set up right now two players, face mask to face mask, in a good football position facing each other. And what they're going to do is, on the whistle, fight for plate control. They're going to shoot their hands and try to establish plate control. Simulating any time you have to get off a block, any time you have to physically dominate a man. And I know a lot of defenses might walk a backer up into the line of scrimmage at times. And again, you have to be good with your hands and fight off blocks. So we're going to line them up face mask to face mask. On the whistle, they're going to shoot their hands or they're going to knock some hands down and establish plate control. First player to get his hands on the plate, lock the other guy out, and be able to drive him back wins the drill. We usually do best of three. It may end in a draw, okay? But the important thing isn't who wins and who loses. The important thing is they're understanding hand placement. They're working on hand coordination. They're working on staying low and doing something physical in their good football position, and they're competing. It's bringing a competitive attitude they're working on leverage, working on hand placement, all those tools into one drill, and they get fired up about doing it because they don't want to lose. Okay, win the hands drill. This is a competition drill. We usually do this drill right before we go over to a one-on-ones or a team period, kind of get our tempo up, get our minds in the right uh, frame of mind, uh, and, and it's a competition drill between two linebackers. And again, it's, it's specific to linebackers because it's the stuff technique working. It's the different drills. You got a blocker on you and you got to rip and get off. Whether it's a wide receiver stock blocking you at outside backer or a fullback coming to fit up on you inside the, inside the box, okay? So what they're going to do is get in a good football position. Again, and it's a competition. It's a strategy. They're going to try to see who can lock who out. Who can get control of the breastplate and get them locked out, okay? You guys keep your heads away from one another. You don't have face masks on. We do best two out of three. And here we go. On go. Done. All right. Derek, winner. Ready. Again. Go. Good. Draw. Again. Go. 
<laughs> Good. Nice job, Derek. Again, working hand quickness. It's working getting control of the breastplate, coordination of putting your hands right where they need to go, and then once you're getting them there, locking them out and controlling your opponent. The next drill is the bully drill. And for this drill, we'll get two guys. Again, they get a little bit of separation right there, depending on the height of the guys, on their knees facing each other. And again, they're going to try to win the plate control, but now we're going to incorporate their feet into the drill. Because if you might have plate control in this drill, but if you don't run your feet, you're going to get piled over. So in order to get to your feet and stand up and drive your opponent back, you've got to run your feet from the, from, the, from the start of the whistle to the echo of the whistle. So again, they're fighting for hand placement control, and at the same time, they're trying to get to their feet and run the other guy into the ground. And you may see some guys get bent over backward in this drill. It's not going to hurt them. It's not going to kill them. They're going to fight as hard as they can unless you've got two guys that are totally physically outmatched. Try to pair them up as best you can. But again, a great drill. Get them excited about being out there at practice. Just get this competitive juices flowing. Okay, the bully drill. Another competition drill we do to get our motor running. Again, playing linebacker, it's about having a big heart. It's about having a lot of fight in you. Doesn't matter how tall you are. We play with some smaller backers. It's about that passion that's inside you. And that's what this, comp this competition drill breeds right here. Put them on their knees, okay? They're going to try to get to their feet, and they're going to try to establish control of the breastplate. Each guy, offense, defense, it doesn't matter. This is, a, this is a competition drill to see who can win control of the other man. Okay, on go. Go. Ah, good. Get low. He had his hands inside. 42 won the battle. He won the day. He had his hands inside. He got locked out and he ran his feet. And again, run your feet until you get all the way up. A lot of guys will get on their knees. Go ahead, step back down again. Get control, but they don't run their feet. Let's do it one more time. Run your feet, and that'll, that'll get you all the way up, and that'll get you underneath your opponent. Go. Ah. <laughs> You don't have established control when you are the smaller man. You will get thrown one way or another. But again, it's a competition drill to get their motors going. The line reaction drill is another great drill where we'll take two guys, line them up facing each other, put one cone, uh, a cone behind each guy about three or four yards away, and the distance you want is about arm's length away. So each of them stick, stick their arm out, and they should be touching fingertips. Get in their good football position and you give them a color, or you give them a number, or you call out their name, okay? And if uh, whatever number, color, or name you call out, that, that linebacker is now going to open at 180 degrees and sprint through the cone. He's the rabbit, and the other guy becomes the guy who's chasing. He's the fox chasing the rabbit, okay, in this point. So they got to listen and react. We're doing some brain activity, tying it into their body, tying it into their footwork, okay? We're trying to to get them thinking on their feet for this drill. And it's a competitive drill where they're going against each other and there's a definite winner and a definite loser. So sometimes we do red and blue for colors. We call out their names. And, and sometimes we do one and two. And then you really want to mess with them, you can use even and odd and really get them thinking, reacting. Sometimes they run into each other. Sometimes they both go the other way. Again, it's a fun little drill that take up two, three minutes of your individual time to get them excited about being out there and competing, reacting, and using their brains, thinking on their feet. All right, the line reaction drill. Again, another competition drill we use. It works quickness. It works listening and uh, reacting to the call, reacting to what you hear. It gets your brain and your body and your feet all working together. So what we're going to do is we're going to line them up, reach out, guys, and touch one another a good distance apart. Okay? I'm going to give each one a color. You're red. You're blue. I'm going to call out the color. If I yell red, red man is opening, 180 degrees, flipping his hips, and he's the rabbit. He's running, trying not to get caught by him. Okay? If I call blue, he's flipping his hips, sprinting that way, and you're chasing. Okay? The goal is to tag the man or to not get tagged. It should look something like this. Again, red, blue. Red. Good. Working quickness and reaction right there. Come back, guys. Working flipping your hips. It's working some of the drills we already worked. Now it's putting into a competition type of atmosphere. Here we go. Now, we're going to change it up on them. We're going to go a number system. You're even. You're odd. I'm going to yell out a number one through ten. You're even. 
your odd. You turn and burn on odd. You turn and burn on even. Ready? Five. Good. Get them thinking. Get them on their toes. Get them uncomfortable. And then get them moving fast. And then you'll train your body to work with your brain. Coaches, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you took some things from it. You can incorporate it with your linebackers. I know that our linebackers have, have really taken on to these drills, and, and, and these are some of the favorite drills among them and us coaches. Three things that I really think are vitally important to linebackers to hit on again is, is one, never sacrifice the fundamentals. Start with them and, and never sacrifice scheme or anything you do for the fundamentals. Two, we need, you need to work certain drills every single day. You need to incorporate run, pass, and vision drills every single day along with your primary drills that may be footwork or whatnot. And three, breed a competitive attitude. Get these guys being the heart and soul of your team. Get them leading by example. Challenge them to lead on a daily basis. That's what we're looking for in linebackers is guys that are going to come in and they're going to be the guy that everyone listens to. I appreciate y'all watching this DVD. I'm Grant Kane, and this is Linebackers Drills, Skills, and Mentality.